let's talk about rejection. And the first thing to say is rejection is not really a feeling, although in reality it's attached to a feeling generated by a fundamental belief. The actual feeling is fear, based on a belief that you may be rejected, or a feeling of shame when we actually experience rejection. In other words, although the fear or shame appears real, it's actually a thought or belief that drives your feeling, which is, I believe I will be rejected, or I'm being rejected. But wait, is that belief true? Is it really true that anyone or everyone will reject you? No. Some people will naturally have a different opinion than you, a different thought from you, a different feeling from you, or possibly agree with you or empathise with you. Ask yourself this question. Are other people entitled to a different perspective than yours? And of course they are. And is that expected to invite fear or a rejection? No, it's a fact of life. OK, so if this rejection belief is true for you, it sounds like you are carrying an early, almost childlike, self-limiting or core negative belief that others will abandon me if I share my worldview, opinion or life experience. And that's not true, is it? So now we've successfully challenged your childlike belief that you won't actually be abandoned. But wait, that explanation hasn't really worked, has it? So why have you still got that belief? The answer to that question is first to understand that in your psyche, you not only have an inner child that has a childlike fear of abandonment, but you also have an inner critic that is threatening to abandon you. And in a critic who is persistently wanting you to stay as you are, to keep your negative belief program, even though it's distressing. A.A. A. Milne, in his books on Christopher Robin, writes about his rather stern nurse or nanny, saying, I cling on to nurse for fear of something worse meaning we would rather hang on to a belief that causes us pain or discomfort than shift our belief into something much more positive or nurturing. Better the devil you know is better than uncertainty, right? So where does your inner child negative core belief come from? Well, it comes from a decision you made as a child in response to repeated wounding experiences, often persistent criticism and judgment of who you are rather than what you did. Painful experiences that are so difficult to bear as a young child that we push them into our unconscious mind, including the decision or meaning we made about those painful experiences. But guess what? There is another important part of those experiences as well as the inner child, namely this critical and judgmental person or parent we call the inner critic, which is also pushed into the subconscious. In fact, the inner child and the inner critic then develop an unconscious dynamic relationship, an ongoing dialogue that occasionally creeps into our conscious thoughts and behaviour, usually under stress or when triggered, that reproduces the original child-parent dynamic. For example, when speaking in a group setting, we start to perhaps project onto members of the group that they will reject or abandon me, accompanied by these feelings of anxiety or shame. We may at this point behave in a way where members of the group may facially react negatively to something you have said. Perhaps a facial expression that is in response to them perhaps disagreeing with a comment you made. We then interpret this as a sign of rejection. 
that then supports our inner child belief. We have in effect created a self-fulfilling prophecy. This unconscious process is designed to keep the inner child belief in place and intact. Our psyche sure doesn't like change. The long-term solution to resolving this unconscious dynamic is when we get triggered or wound activated, we must do two things. First, show compassion to your inner child's feelings of anxiety. And secondly, push back on your inner critic. Create a boundary where your inner critic that she, he is not welcome. Instead, focus on an inner nurturing parent that will show compassion for your inner child and fierce compassion to admonish your inner critic. If you need help or support with coming to grips with rejection, please let me know. I'm Steve Ellicker, accredited life coach. Get in touch. Let's see what's possible.